meditation, spiritual transformation, enlightenment, and transfiguration. Welcome. This is my first out of my parts series that I'm going to start called Recreation. Hi, my name is Amaris. You know me as Captain Quantum on TikTok? That's gonna change a little bit. And the name, the rebranding of this channel would change very soon as well. Now, this video is late. I do apologize. It's probably a day late. Um, a few days late. <laughs> I wanted to uh, start getting the Moyo set for what's to come. Let's get into the topic, shall we? By definition, meditation is the action and the practice of meditating which enhancedly means to think deeply and to focus on one's mind for a period of time. It's actually that. It's an art of meditation. Truly a person cannot sit, squat in the grass and start breathing and be like, Whew, I'm meditating. Cause that's not how it works. Meditation actually involves you thinking in on a particular subject and only thinking on that subject fully thinking about it and initializing every thought within this subject. Meditation is a full mental arousal about a subject. That's true meditation. And true meditation is not something that you can confuse with regular meditation. When you are fully involved in a meditative state, you become that scene. You become that object. You become that everything. Everything that encompasses that particular sort of being, you become it. And that's true meditation. That's not sitting around in the grass and being, who, or being in a nice quiet area and saying, ho. Oh. You are saying, I have a very important decision to make. What are all the possible options I have to take while making this decision? Meditation is not a game. As a matter of fact, meditation has influenced many decisions in your life, and in my life, and in everyone's life. And you probably don't even know it. What would we need to meditate about? I guess that's the most important question, I can see. And, um, Let's do the easiest thing, a dramatic change in your life. Let's say, for example, you're about to move. You're doing a big move. You're leaving all your significant others and you're leaving, you're, you're leaving friends and you're deciding on whether or not to move. You have to, right? But you're meditating on it to think about all the situations that could arise in all the situations that will arise. Meditation allows you to think of it. Meditation allows you to cast judgment on it. Initially, you sit in silence, get comfortable, whether it be laying on your back, sitting in a chair, drinking. You wanna be comfortable. Meditation then requires you to start going like this. Crazy, crazy. You're meditating to think about all of the possible wins and losses. Meditating to think about all the possible gains, all the possible benefits, all the possible tragedies, all of the worst. You don't stop. You don't stop until you conclude a perfect definition of yourself. And it can take days. When people say, I, I can't sit and think on this, I have to do this now, then do it now. You can't think about it. This is the only option. And that's why people say meditation doesn't work. That's why people say I can't do meditation because everything you have to do is now. Meditation allows one's mind to focus so solely on a particular subject that when you become that subject in your mind, it becomes so much more easier to 
elevate your mind. Spiritual. Spirituality. By definition, having spiritual tendencies is relating to or affecting the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. One thing I can explain is church music. When you hear them get grimy up in that church, and they and you hear the voice, you hear the vocals, and you, and, they, and, it, and you send them chills down your spine, that's the spiritual. That's the spiritual. You can't do nothing but that. In the church, when you hear someone, and they got the tambourine, got trumpet, and you hear, you hear, like you hear the stun from the music spiritual that means you are so involved with it that whatever you want to do at that current moment that's relating to it will have every once every ounce of your body with it that's spiritual that's spiritual beyond belief and that means anything anything if you want to do anything you have to be spiritual about it and, and that's, that, that includes YouTube channels. Even Mr. Beast, right? Big content creator, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers. He had to do, he had to at least be spiritual with his consistent uploadings. Spirituality encompasses you to be so, so involved in the topic that your next movement relating to that topic has every ounce of power that you could ever put into that topic. That's spirituality. That is, that's what it is, literally. You say, how can I be more spiritual? You're, and be more, be more involved, right? Be more involved. You have to. It's so simple. It really is. If you want to be more spiritual, you have to meditate on that. You have to meditate on what topics you have to meditate on what steps you are taking. You have to meditate on so much more. Do you see how we're, do you see where it's aligning? Do you see where it's aligning itself? It's starting to make a little bit of sense now, huh? Enlightenment. Let's start with the definition of enlightened. Given greater knowledge, a greater knowledge, understanding about a subject or a situation. Worship drives that means. Sounds very, very close to spiritual. Spirituality and enlightenment goes hand in hand. It's because that when you are so spiritual about something, you feel spiritualness about it. When your knowledge about the topic arises, or when it is your time to actually perform such topic, everyone sees it. And your love for that topic goes through the roof allowing for you to be in a different state of conscious about such a topic that everyone else sees a different level of you. So let's change the, the definition of enlightened to showing a different level of yourself with spiritualness. It is so much simpler when you think of it like I want to learn about a topic. Okay, let's get spiritual. Blah, blah, blah. Spirituality does not always have to inherently mean religion. Religion is definitely a part of it. Definitely. Spirituality involves so much knowledge about the topic that it is more levitating. can't say you're enlightened. Only other people can. Being attuned means that you glow. Being attuned means that you've mastered spiritual knowledge on that subject. It's wonderful. It is beyond wonderful. When you are attuned, and you can say you're attuned, that means that you can activate true enlightenment on a subject. Do anything. Being attuned is complete mastery of spiritual knowledge and enlightenment activation. When you 
go online and you type in, just type in fight body activation to get these 10 hour videos. I want you to listen to that in your sleep, right? Yeah, you can learn things in your sleep, but can you really? You can't become a tune overnight in your sleep. Once you become spiritual about yourself, it's up to you at that moment to either take it to a farther level, to become enlightened, or to just say, I understand this. Transfiguration. A complete change of form or appearance into a more beautiful or spiritual state. I definitely assure you and say that the number one person who's ever, who's ever had a documented transfiguration is Christ. Okay? I'm not trying to change this into a religious standpoint, but you have to bear with me. The transfiguration was probably one of the most influential and outstanding things to have ever happened in the Bible. The words of transfiguration, the meaning of transfiguration, and the, the, the person to actually do it. Transfiguration is simple. It's right there. More beautiful or spiritual state. Transfiguration means that you've changed your world entirely. Your complete view. So that whoever looks onto you will truly see what you've changed about yourself. They will truly have seen who you are. Whether that be good, whether that be bad. That word, that particular sentence, that definition is what you want to achieve about yourself. You want to achieve a transfiguration about yourself. I promise you, I cannot assure definition and say I've hit a transfiguration in my life. Because once it's happened, it's something so profound, so complex, so 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 stunned, so so immaculate that you know that you've done it. If you can reach eternity, if you can become attuned with yourself, you can become transfigured and perform the most amazing transfiguration on yourself if you've ever done. The position is not to sit in silence. But that's where it starts. I've given you the keys to meditate. And I've given you the ways to change your life. How to become the best you starts with meditation. It just takes you. Thank you so much for watching that. Please like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know the good stuff. We're trying to change our life. Right. And I pray I can take you on this adventure with me.